Hi, my name's Elise and today we're going to be looking at my horse box. This is the Mini Mobile and this was custom made for my miniature horses so it's a little bit different on the inside than a normal horse box. So let's go have a look. So let's start in the front, this is the driver's part. So this is one of my favourite things about this box is number one the paint job but also these seats. So these are medium grey done with rose gold piping and they've got the horse heads on them too. And um, these are all custom embroidery again. And then we have all the internal stuff over there, my driver's seat, and it's got a touchscreen radio and all the mod cons, air con, everything you need. And I will show you the sat nav and all that around the other side. Right, I'm in my driver's seat now, and um, what I'm gonna show you is, obviously I have my radio, which is touchscreen, and this was a work van before I bought it and converted it. So this was where all the sat nav was and everything normally, but because you're now in the horse part of it, we've converted it. So this is actually now my sat nav, my reversing camera, and where the horse is. You can see the horses on the inside, so I'll show you that now. I'll turn it on. And then if I switch this on, it's now the reversing camera, so I can see the back of my truck and all the way around it. And then if I switch it, you can now see the horses on the inside so I can tell what they're up to when I'm driving and it has night cam vision as well so yeah that's a really good addition and then we have this here which is also an addition I'll show you in the back of the truck and this is my fan this was an addition that I added on um, to the build you don't get these in normal trucks and this is just so in the summer it ventilates air through automatically and yeah it really helps right I'm going to show you the inside of the horse box now so you open up the top windows and they clip back except the clips are really bad and they if it's really really windy they just smack you in the head which is why we had this to tie it back because that one doesn't even work you've got the clips to come down and usually this ramp is actually very easy to pull down it's a very lightweight half ramp but because we are up a hill it does make it difficult to do at home so you kind of have to Hang on a little bit. And then it lets itself down. So that's the inside of the truck and you can probably tell it's got no partitions in it even though it's got all the additions to it. Well that's because my two are babies and they don't travel well tied up or in partitions because they can't see each other so we just found out it was easier to take them out and just let them loose in here for now but if I do travel another horse with them I can put a partition in and keep them separate so I have um, four there's usually four spaces with three partitions and these tie rings are specially made to be at mini horse height and this is where the um, they welded this on to put the special partitions because obviously this is a normal horse box and usually a horse walk partition would be there cutting it into two but we got four so this was the addition to attach that with the special ties and then we got the Luton which is just for storage space you can put a mattress up in there and stuff like that but I have no interest in sleeping in a hole <laughs> and yeah the windows will open and lock and then we have the door to the jockey section, which opens into my part, so I can come through the back. We're now gonna have a look at the jockey section. So this is where all my bits are, where we sit um, during shows. It's locked. <laughs> so the door just locks back like the windows. And it's a little bit of a mess in there at the moment because we use it a lot, but it's just mud from the last show we went to. So in here, I'll turn it up. So we've got lights and they've just got some beam lights in here. 
um, and they work without the box being on because they work off the battery. And these again, these seats, I got two there, one there, and these match the front seats. And then I, this is the addition, this is the wardrobe I wanted, and it goes right down in there. And I just keep stuffing it, and it's also got a hanger at the top, so I can put my clothes in there, and it is completely lockable, so you can put your belongings in there too. And I don't know why, but they added a tag stand and a bridal hook, because I did not ask for that, but it's there. Yeah, and those are the other seats. And I have my nice little mat on the floor, which is supposed to keep things clean, but it clearly didn't. And this here, usually most horse balls you'll see are just like white walled, but um, he did offer us for free to add these on because it costs a fortune to put proper walls on the horse box. And then I've also got a charging plug here, and these come with most horse boxes, you can just plug things in, kettles, whatever. And then the other light actually turns on the lights to the horse box for the horses. And that's, I locked it from the inside, so that's really clever. And of course, now you've got the full size door, and this just opens up into the horse box. So when the ramp is up and everything, I jump in the back, walk through here, close it again, and I can get to the horses, and it's really great. So when you actually sit there during the winter, um, you can check on them because you've got to open the doors. And the horses like to come in there with us too, so that's always fun. But you can see the lights are on for the night, and also, there are blue lights which come automatically when you turn your headlights on so the horses don't travel in the dark on their own. So they always have some sort of light on in here which is great. This up here is the sunroof slash fan. That's the addition we actually asked for on this. The one thing that I, apart from obviously being a mini horse horse box, this is something that I really wanted because it's really important not to overheat when you're driving in the summer. And these windows are just not enough. Like right now it's so hot in here. So what this does, I got my zapper here, and you switch it on, and it will automatically open the sunroof, and then it ventilates air by pulling it out and filtering it back in. So it just yeah works off the air and horse box, and the zapper shows you what the temperature in the horse box is. So it's currently 33 degrees and it's set to 23 so it should bring it down to 23 that stay there and there's lots of things you can mess with to fix it up and then you can turn it off again somehow there we go and it'll automatically close itself again for the winter so what's really different about this horse box is in order for me to be able to drive it i have to have an automatic now, you don't see many automatic um, horse boxes for a reason, because when you're pulling two heavy horses, um, it just uses a lot of petrol, it's expensive, and it doesn't get up hills when it's automatic, it can't pull the weight. But uh, because I only have many horses and they weigh less than I do, um, we managed to get an automatic done for my back, so I saw what it looked like before, when we bought it. So this is based on a Fiat Ducato um, 3 litre engine automatic work van, and I'll show you some photos dealer and then we converted it with regions into a automatic horse box so it's probably very much one of a kind you don't see many of these for it's got such a huge litre engine that it drives amazingly like you will not know you've had a horse in the back especially with the girls but I've also had my big warm blood David here and it's traveled beautifully so what's really interesting about this is because it's an automatic everything's kind of bigger so we expected a normal size three and a half horse box but the horse hair is actually quite a bit longer than a normal one. So I had more room for horses and more room for a jockey area to be quite nice. So that was interesting when we first got it, we didn't know if it would even fit in the driveway because it was bigger than we expected, but it's still a three and a half and I could drive it on my car license. So there's no problem there. And I absolutely love driving it. It's my favorite thing. I never drive my car anymore because I have this one instead. So my favourite part about this box is the custom paint job. So when I was looking for a box, obviously safety is paramount first for my horses and it's a very, very safe box. But I knew the company that we went with was known for having really good builds. That's what they're known for. So the next thing I was asking about is after making sure they understood it was for many horses was I want this paint job. I went to every single person who to ask about them for quotes, everything. I was like, can you do rose gold and grey? That's all I wanted with this beautiful stripe and it was inspired by a tattered horse box but it doesn't have the blush fade through it and things like that so it's in rose gold it's got 
white on the rest of it so it keeps it cool in the summer because if you have a very dark kind of horse box it makes it very hot and then it's got this beautiful dark grey stripe all the way along to the back and the rose gold just glows in different colours and it's absolutely stunning and it is my favourite part about this horse box and the back is done with ribbon so this is also really amazing I had a choice of what to do with the bag and I decided this design and they managed to do it so that was great.